have people of all walks of life. Let us meet some of them now. The chief and the council of elders. After they killed an animal, two hunters will tie the animal <coughs> to a pole and then carry each end of the pole on their shoulders. Oh, people of Mangebure, you can see that each of you has a role to play to make this village a better place to live in. The future lies in our hands. Thank you for So since you guys are such good actors, we're going to do a little bit of reader's theater. Um, so some of you are going to have roles where you're going to stand up and you're going to speak and act. Uh, we're going to hand out the scripts and we're going to give each of you some time to look over your lines. We're going to use <coughs> lots of expression. Have you heard the news? A logging company is coming to town. This means job and money for us young people. So what did I do that time? Okay. Expression, loud, I use my arms, I use my body. So we're going to try and do that when we do Reader's Theater. If you don't have a part, then you're going to be listening carefully for the clues about the problem or the conflict that we're having in this world. <laughs> Gossip has been flying around the village of Mangebure. There are rumors that a logging company called Modern Trees is coming to town. Will they steal the land? Will they bring wealth? Everyone has a different opinion. No one is silent. Listen to what your fellow villagers are saying. Have you heard the news? A logging company is coming to town. That means lots, that means jobs and lots of money for us young people. You young people, you are always after money and jobs. My great grandmother and great grandfather met in this town. Their initials are carved into that old mango tree. So don't think for a minute that you will touch one leaf on any of those trees. Yay for modern trees! Yay for modern trees! You youth, be quiet and show respect for your elders. You have important choices to make for your futures. You must talk and listen. In. Your fate is uncertain. So it sounds like we have decision to make in this village. Should we let the logging company come or not? Yes. No. Try your best to write down about like four of your arguments. Bringing in a logging company, it brings in more ideas. It brings in a, a better. You can have more houses, you can have more, you can have more um, baskets, you can have more stuff to carry, everything. And Think add about it, yeah. Yeah, it is a common out now. to do some some dancing. Move your left hand and the left foot together. Just one step on each side. the youth group. We are tired because we walk 10 kilometers every day, 5 kilometers to school and 5 kilometers from school. The logging company should come. They promised us a closer school. Elders, chief, and all the other adults, please feel our pain in our tired bodies. We need a closer school. We have always wanted a car and a stereo. With jobs, we can get them. I am really confused. We need a school, but we need trees for fruit and nuts. Elders, chief, we need your wisdom. Thank you. 
So chief or the elders are here now. Chief, can we hear what you have to say for your people? But we've decided to keep our land. And, and not um, let you log. <laughs> Chief and elders, it seems like you have some people who are happy with your decision and some people who aren't very happy. So let's come into the middle here and we can talk about this a little bit. Chief said and elders agreed that we would be lazy. We would still go to the forest and find resources and we would still find maybe jobs as we get older and maybe we could just find other things to do besides walking all the way to school and back. And plus we'll get more sleep and we will and have more energy to do more things than just walk all day. We'd help the village more, we'd be more productive. With the logging use, after you go home and look for resources, you might have to walk twice as far than you, as you usually do to go find the resources. So you might be even more tired, you might be doing better in school, but you might not be as productive when you're getting the resources, which means you fall for the entire village. Like, we're not just talking about walking all the way to school and back. We, as we get older, we need jobs. <clears throat> In a matter of time, the entire forest will probably be cleared out, all because of their greed for wood and money. The Walmart incident. The Walmart? So tell me about that. How is that similar? The mayor, in the end, they made a decision not to bring Walmart into Smithers. And and he, the mayor listened to the people. Like, there's lots of, many of them that said they don't want Walmart. And there are many of them that said, oh, I want Walmart. And then he listened to the people and he said, no, I don't want one. Well, we were talking about um, how um, everybody got a fair say in, in this. Yeah. That's how it's different. In, in this sort of village, we have everybody gets a say and then the chief makes the decision. So really, it's only one person voting, not the people. We're going to give you time after lunch. We're going to come back to this decision and we're going to see if we can find a different way of making the decision that satisfies everyone.